Hey guys, it's uh, Chad and Night Brian here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody who liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to the channel. You know, the channel blew up really quickly, way faster than I thought it would. So I just want to say thank you to all those out there who kind of recognized the vision I was going for the channel and latched on right away. Um, I want to take this time to thank Carl. That's the great Carlini source name, by the way, because uh, he helped start Coffee Chess without even knowing it. So let me just tell you the story of how that happened really quick. So about a little over a year ago, I went to a Starbucks one night and um, I opened the doors and I just see this massive crowd around this table, right? And all of a sudden I hear a booming voice say things like, I, I don't remember exactly what Carl said, but it must have been one of his popular lines. Like, it was just weird stuff like Chikunda Calabunda, Queen of Kiss Maximus, going in to commit that old sin. So the crowd was just laughing and eating it up and smiling and I was like what the heck's going on man so I kind of just bumped my way in and took a look and there was none other than the great Carlini just you know sitting there and doing what he does best and um it's kind of embarrassing because at that time I thought I was really good at chess like I had no formal training whatsoever I just knew how the pieces move and I played with my friends and I was really young but I never really picked it back up and um just to give you an idea of how bad I was back then, like my opening for white was e4, queen 2, f3. So yeah, I didn't know jack squat back then. And um, but I remember that night, like seeing Carl play and just you know how he played so well on the board and his trash talk and everyone laughing and that kind of you know reignited my passion for chess and I got to studying and you know I went to that same coffee shop and started playing, made friends and eventually all that kind of led to coffee chess so you know it in an indirect way without Carl like I don't think I would have ever picked up chess back up again and I don't think coffee chess would have existed so I just want to thank Carl for that now um I also want to touch on another point in, in terms of kind of how to help make like chess a mainstream sport kind of put it more in the public eye you know if you think about it for every sport to be put on the map, you need a star that's not only great at the sport, but also an entertainer, like somebody who can kind of um, draw people in through through their charisma. And if you think about boxing, you know that Muhammad Ali was that. And for modern times, if you look at what Conor McGregor is doing for the UFC, like that guy is just his trash talk alone got him two titles in the UFC, and now he has a, a boxing match with Floyd May uh, Money Mayweather in about a month. And his, his promoting skills are just absolutely bananas, right? And that's really putting boxing and UFC in the public eye. So I think for chess, we need somebody like that, you know? Um, we need somebody who's really good and who can entertain the crowd. And I think Carl is the perfect combination. I mean, he has the, he definitely has the skills. His blitz level is legit master. He's 2200 and above in his blitz level. And there's no doubt he can entertain the crowd. And chess has a really bad like public image nowadays. Like people think it's boring, it's really slow, there's no talking, everyone just uses computer moves. You know, we need someone like Carl to spice some things up and get people interested in playing chess again. Now, one thing I just want to note really quick, um, sometimes I read the comments and I, and I see people um, comment that Carl is just, oh, he's just a big bully on the chessboard. And I can understand how people might view Carl that way just from watching his videos, but if you watch the uh, Professor Carlini video and the one where he does a post-game analysis with Julian, y you'll see the other side of Carlini that you know everyone else knows. Like, he's a really nice guy, and once you kind of um, see him play for a while, you you understand that his trash talk isn't necessarily for his opponent. It's just to entertain the crowd that it inevitably gathers. You know, it's to entertain them and get them interested in chess. And I think he kind of feeds off the energy of the crowd. So. None of us take his trash talk personally. It's more like, it's more comedy. It's more like stand up, you know, than than insulting. So, and also it just motivates us to learn chess to get better to beat him. And you know, that's kind of a cool side effect. He inspires us to get better at chess. And um, also, some of you are asking if he's like a legit grandmaster. He's not. He's, we just call him a GM and trash talking. But again, his 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 uh, blitz level is. Is, is actually legit USC at um, 2200 master rating level. So um, it's definitely legitimate. So, um, you know, given all that, I thought of an idea of how we could all kind of encourage Carl after he's encouraged us through his games and trash talk, you know. 
I asked Carl to create like a PayPal link. So if any of you want to buy him a cup of coffee, I'm going to put the link in the description and comments below. You know, I really think it'll encourage him to play more so we see more of his games. But not only that, kind of encourage him to do some post-game analysis so we can all learn from him. Plus, you know, I'll do an interview with him and kind of figure out his backstory when it comes to chess, how he comes up with all his sayings, and kind of what kind of advice he can give us to improve him more. And, um, and I think if we all kind of show him some love, buy him that cup of coffee, I think Carlini would seriously um, consider doing all that to help entertain and educate you guys and kind of promote the sport of chess so that, you know, other people will kind of be interested in playing and kind of start their own coffee chess groups. You know, my hope is that people will stumble on his videos and be inspired to learn chess and kind of learn it, meet together in coffee shops, make friends, form community. And that's kind of ultimately what I want this channel to do. That's kind of the dream I have in terms of the impact I have, that I hope it'll have. And um, in the coming days, I'll upload some practical ways on how you guys can kind of do that. Because I, I'm i reading the comments and a lot of you are saying that you wish you could play people in real life and kind of... And real life is definitely better than playing online or through apps. Yeah, it's just something that the internet can't replicate. So um, stay tuned for that. And, you know, it's, it's just, I just want to say how crazy it is that our actions can kind of domino effect like this. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Carl had no idea that one night when he was playing that he would inevitably help start, you know, this Coffee Chess YouTube channel like a year later. So, um... If you enjoyed his games and his hilarious trash talking, then please feel free to buy him a cup of coffee with a link in the description below. And um, I really believe he'll be touched and motivated to bring us more games, more trash talk, more entertainment, and kind of spread the game of chess we all love and hopefully get it mainstream. And, you know, I, if this channel blows up, I have really big plans for Kalini. Like, what, what I would ultimately want is to get him to actually face Magnus Carlsen in a blitz match and kind of have them do it over Skype and we can kind of see both their faces and can you imagine how hilarious that's going to be like and who knows man Magnus might be flustered by Carlini's trash talk and 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 lose the game but um all I can say is that win or lose for that match between Carlini and the world champion you know the entertainment in that video alone could really put chess into the public mainstream so uh, I just kind of want to throw out that vision out there to kind of um Hopefully that'll happen, you know, and we can have Carl play other GMs too and just make chess great again. So um, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the games, and I uh, hope you keep improving your chess too. All right, I'll see you guys later.